Well, good day, good day. Welcome to another episode of the Bobby Brown Show. I'm your humble host, Bobby Bob TV Brown. This is Bobby Brown on the go, on the geo. I just record this video and then come out, man. I'm kind of ticked off. But let's do it again. I'll make it quick. So let's do the tell of the tape. Let's do a pass and review. It is 2023 right now. 2023. So we got uh, over a year for the next election, okay? The election is November 2024. So we got some time. We got some time. But we're going to fast forward. Marion Williamson decides to be the first person in the race for the Democratic Party. Now, I know a lot of you people say, Brown, why don't Bob TV, why you don't talk about the Republicans, the Republican primary, Ron DeSantis, blah, blah, blah. I can't kill us, them folks. Bunch of hacks, wags. But I appreciate them being hacks and wags in my face. They don't pretend to love me and put their arms around me and hug me and have a knife ready to stab me in my back. They don't do that. Democratic Party do that. They have the knife right up in front of you and let you know, I'm, I will cut you if you try to get too much power from me, especially you black people. I will cut you. And look, it's easy to disarm a person when you see the knife coming versus when you don't see the knife coming. And they keep the knife coming. That's why I don't waste my time with Ron DeSantis. I don't waste my time with Trump or none of them. And I, I don't even waste my time with Chris, I mean, Candace Owen and, and Random Tatum, whatever his name, Teddy Brandon, whatever. I don't waste my time with these people. My focus is a party who I grew up with. You know, like Marion Williams said, I grew up in this part. My, my, my family have been Democrats all the time. Too many black people have been holding the Democratic Party in high esteem and power for a long time. But the Democratic Party don't hold us in high esteem and power. The best power and the best way to give high esteem and power is financial equality. And uh, until this day, they have not did nothing but give us latitude and platitudes and all kind of bull crap and not really do, willing to do anything for black people. Neither are mostly candidates running for office, too. Therefore, I don't have a support for none of these mugs. I don't care if Marion Williamson do have reparations on the platform. She got her numbers too low, but we're going to talk about her in a moment. So, Marion Williamson gets in the race. Kyle Kalinske and his wife encourage her. That's when Kyle Kalinske had the black hair. He encouraged her to run for office. And um, she decides to do it. So she comes back on the show when he has the blonde hair, when he's chicka, 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 dim shady, all of a sudden, got a little poom poom, got a little crystal, 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 crystal poom poom, and got his mind straight, got him some grown stuff. Starting acting like a petulant child right now, blonde his hair and everything. Looking like Doogie Howser over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But anyway, Kyle Kalinske pushed her, and she decided to run. So I, I honestly believe Kyle and is trying to be the next kingmaker, and Chris is trying to be the queenmaker. We're the go-to people if you want to run for office. We're the go-to people. Well, they ain't working too well because people ain't buying into Marion Williamson. Nope. Mostly the loft liberals, they're buying into Marion Williamson. But people from the gutter, people from the street, people from the grassroots movement, whether it's in the uh, black areas or whatever, they're not buying her. They're not buying her. You know, she's a joke of a politician based on her career. People take that as a joke. I don't. I, I've listened to her books and watched some of her videos. And when it comes to love and compassion, it really helped me a lot. So I don't try to dump on her too much. All I say is this ain't her lane. This ain't for you. This ain't your thing. And to come bring that in an arena like this, just make you look even cheesier. But she ran anyway. And Kyle and Kalinske all of a sudden began this mindset and this um, thought process trying to put in you that yeah, there's two people running, Joe Biden or uh, Marion Williamson. You have to pick one. If not, you're automatically with the Joe Biden camp. That stuff don't work no more. Stop. Stop. You realize how stupid you look? You can't talk for me. You can't act for me. If I'm not supporting your wacky, whack candidate, I'm automatically support Joe Biden. Whatever. I'm supporting Joe Biden. Then. What you got now? Whatever. 
and vice versa. Joe Biden supporters saying the same thing. Oh, you're hurting Joe Biden. You're making him look bad. We shouldn't have a incumbent being challenged and blah, blah, all that bull crap. Incumbent should always be challenged. Every four years, there need to be a report card. Every four years, somebody need to talk about their vision of America. It could be better and more easier to attain if they market it right. Nobody have a fast track. So she goes on the breaks with stuff. She goes on Jordan Cherry. She goes on RBN. She goes on RBN, <laughs> hoping that no other black men come on that panel. <laughs> oh, oh, Sabby, Sabby, I love you. I'd rather come on your show anytime. Why well, I got to come on? This is what she really was saying in her heart. I don't. She wasn't saying it out loud. I don't understand why I got to be on this network. Why, I mean, you can't have our little time. Why we can't have our little girl, girl powwow. Why I got to get on here with the revolutionary black network with black men mostly on the network and one woman i don't want to be in that environment it's kind of sound kind of sexist to me come on come on savvy put me on no well, anyway showed up on that show got arguing with somebody in the chat room what kind of mess is that cal kalinsky began to stand for her all day gene john Pereira says something about her cal goes off uh, the press says something, Cal go off. Seems like every time somebody says something wrong, Cal wants to go in defense of his second girlfriend. Might be his first, I don't know. So we're fast forwarding where we are right now. So Joe Biden decides to win, uh, I mean, enter the race. Uh, she thought she was going to have a fast track, and, you know, so she challenged Joe Biden. They don't think nobody else is going to jump in, especially Kyle Kalinsky. Joe Biden jumping the race. Bernie Sanders, prior to that, said, I believe, you know, I believe Mary Williams will run straight a good race. I believe she's going to run a strong race. I believe she's going to run a strong race. She's going to run a strong race. I believe that. I believe that. But the moment that Joe Biden decided to throw his hat in, I support Joe Biden, my good friend Joe Biden. I support my good friend Joe Biden. We've we got a lot of work to do. Uh, right now, uh, we still have to continue to fight for uh, the fabric of our democracy. And um, Joe Biden's the one to do that. My good friend Joe. My good friend Joe. He got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. He got it. My good friend Joe. Yep. So immediately he endorsed. And all of a sudden, all the other progressives fall in line. Ilhan Yuan, move on. Move on, dot cord. Yeah, that's her new name. Ilhan, move on. <laughs> Rashida Tlaib, AOC, all of them decided to say, Look, we got a lot of work to do. Biden's done good. He's done more than any president that I ever known. Stop. But people ain't feeling y'all frauds. All I'm got in line with him. So her chance of having a grassroots movement got cut to shreds right there because she thought she was gonna have this progressive base to back her. Over Joe Biden. Nah, no, nah, that wasn't gonna happen. Nope, nope, nope. Stop, stop. They all like Joe Biden. So they all went in support of Joe Biden. The media all went into support of Joe Biden. They went on the side of starting to nick pick and smear her. A little jokingly, a little shot here, a little shot there offhandly. Uh, the White House press secretary, all of them, they did that. So fast forward in there, from there. Cal go into defense mode. White House Secretary make a joke about him. He won't goes in defense of him. Uh, news media. All this offense from Kyle Kalinsky. At the end of the day, your justice Democrats decide to support him, not her. Now, another monkey wrench in the program get thrown in. Robert F. Kennedy getting to begin to immediately shade poll numbers off her and Biden. And it's getting to the point where it's getting that she's starting to hide in the bushes like Homer Simpson. Her campaign is on life support. It's almost over. It's almost done, son. Stick a fork in it. Juice is flowing out. She's done. She's not going to get campaign money. Masses of people are not going to give her two, five, ten. Dollar donations, no. 
she crapped on the black community for the simple fact that she lowballed the um reparation number so she's not getting the black vote she can hear reparation 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 that's not gonna happen she's lowballing the numbers she's skimming off the top she touts seven mil seven trillion when it's really 73 trillion what kind of crap is that you are way off base with, with your numbers well then go out there this is what she told um marcel dixon who respectfully a black man a black lgbtq man uh went to her event and said look here um uh, i appreciate you putting the numbers out there appreciate you running on reparations putting it on the big stage like the debates uh making it national i'm i really appreciate you dude i love you for that this is one reason i got a love for you but i have to honestly say you need to get those numbers up she get offended about that she's easily defended and that causes her poll numbers even go down politico came up with an article talk about how hot-headed she is not that she can snap on you in a minute that's why i don't ever see a man with her anybody ever seen a man with her Man, ain't gonna deal with that mess, man. Who you think you're talking to? I'll knock you in the next week, girl. <laughs> you know, make somebody want to do vi um, domestic violence, man. The way she be snapping off, I believe she hit men. I will never hit men. I will never hit a man. You probably do with your word. Probably do with your eyes. That's how you did it on RBN when when Nick asked you those questions, and when the rest of the fellas came out. You was hurting them. You was trying to kill people with your eyes. Go back and look at that video, girl. So my point is, going fast forward in this, RF Kennedy is in this race. RF Kennedy um, being in a position on careful about vaccine. He's not anti-vaccine. It's not with the smear crap. He's for vaccines. He's just careful about them being rolled out too quick. That's not anti-vaccine. That's pro-careful. So he's getting Republican support. Environmentalists love him because that's his thing. Democrats, Green New Deal type Democrats, they love them. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of voters that's going to migrate to that if he can come up with a concrete plan on how to cater to these people. The, anti, um, the medical people who believe medicine should stay in the hands of the doctor and the patient and nobody else. People who promote the environment. And if he had a reparation plan, he could win in a landslide, but he don't. Mary William has some. She could win in a landslide if she adjusts some of her policies, but she won't. Therefore, she won't win. Neither of these guys will win because at the end of the day, they're part of a party that won't let them win. And that's my whole point of this last part of our video today. Mary Williamson posted to run. JFK got to run, and he's getting some support. He's at 20% in some polls. Joe Biden is at 60, and this guy just got in in March, a few months ago, and already at 20%, cutting Joe in half and cutting old, old Supergirl in half. He's up. But the problem is, even though he's up, even though black people, you know, hey, that's Joe Kennedy, that, that, that's RFK, that's that's our boy. He was going, you know, the Kennedys love black people. Who the kid? Stop. Really? You, do your history on the Kennedys. Do your history on old drunk prohibitionist gangster Joe Kennedy who made his money and got into power and in political powers because of the money from, you know, the drug game at that time. Alcohol is a drug. He was in the drug game. Alcohol is a drug. He was in the drug game. Got into politics. He was America's version of, uh, not El Chapo, but Pablo Escobar. <laughs> Running for office and everything. Boys got in there, and the boys had no choice but to do some things for black people, with black people, because we were turning it up and ready to turn it on your head if you didn't make some changes. So they had to be close to us to get some things done, to keep their, maintain their power, and to give us a little bit of power, called segregation. Uh, the abolishment of segregation. Uh, so black people love the Kennedys. And so you're going to get that crowd 45 and up. They're going to vote for Kennedy over Biden. They're not going to vote for Biden. 
they go vote for Kennedy because that's a Kennedy boy. I got a picture of his uncle in my house. I ain't got no picture of Joe Biden in the house. I got a picture of my uncle, unless it's Joe Biden and Obama put together. I got a picture. Of the, that's 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 JFK grant. Um, that's JFK nephew. That's RFK son. Oh, he got our back. So you're going to get those three t- different type of pieces, people supporting him. That's why his polls numbers are up. Which brings me to this point, and I talked about it earlier in the video. At the end of the day, the Democratic Party is a corporation. They make the rules. They can change the rules any time. And they will. They did it in the last election with Tulsi Gabbard. When she went for the head of Kamala Harris, her poll numbers were barely enough to qualify for the first, first round. She got her poll numbers up in the second round. And uh, she got her fundraising up and poll numbers up in the third round. And at the end of the day, she stepped down. Took off a lot of heads. Embarrassed a lot of people, but at the end of the day, she had to step down. She nor RFK is going to be president. Joe Biden will be rigged into this presidency as if he could be Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is on a war path and he's going to come up with proof and evidence that all these agents, all these agencies, a lot of them backed by Joe Biden and Obama really did some unquestionable, unrighteous, unethical things concerning me and the power that I possess as president. They wanted to stop me at all costs, and they even went into physically hiring agencies to stop me. And we already got evidence of that, um, the weak leaks and things like that. At the end of the day, Robert F. Kennedy will not be the Democrat nominee, or Marion Williamson, even though she got some horrible poll numbers and she was horrible too. But at the end of the day, what are you going to they decided to run the Democratic Party, so they are sold out to the party. You continue to support people like that in the party, meaning you're selling out to the party. It's time to stop selling out the party. And start selling it to yourself. I don't need a party. If you don't have open primaries and your guy don't win, it's not my fault. I'm not going to be forced to join your party to have one of your candidates win. You need me. I don't need you. So if you want me to vote for your candidate, you got to make sure your candidate have something on the plate for you to do. At the end of the day, the DNC has this thing rigged. They have to bend the knee to the Democratic Party at all costs. And if they don't do it, they will finally have that death blow at the Democratic National Convention, which there will be guest speakers, but they will not be winners at all. They will not have any concessions to concede at all. You should have never ran in that party when you knew it's rigged. There's nothing you can do to change it. It's just the way it is. And it's going to always be like that until we crush both of these parties and go into an area of post duopoly politics. Like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell, make sure it's on always. Want to support the boy, hot dog donut, whatever, hit that up there. I love you. Good morning and good night.